Hey there, Stephen here from Crystal Tractor and Equipment Super Centers here in Ocala. Today I've got with me the brand new for 2023 CF Moto Seaforce 110s. Uh, these little guys here are actually designed for youth riders anywhere from uh, 10 to 17 years old. And they're packed with safety features that's going to make you a lot more comfortable when you've got your kids out on the trail with you. Or if you want to go ahead and send them out on their own so that you don't lose track of what's going on. You can see them here in our two available colors. That's Rocket Red and Baja Blue, bright and shiny and ready to roll. And now we're going to go ahead and go over some of those safety features and show you just how much fun these little guys can be. So to start off with, let's talk about the name. So we got a CF Moto Seaforce 110. Now Seaforce is uh, going to be CF Moto's line of ATV and four wheelers. Now the 110 in the name is referencing the 110 CC engine that's here in these little guys. Uh, this engine is coupled with a very simple um, two-speed transmission. And by two speeds, I mean one forward and one reverse. It doesn't get easier than that. Uh, you just have your simple little shifter here on the right side. You got your forward and your reverse, and then your neutral. And what's nice is on the included uh, integrated LCD display here, it will actually show you what gear you're in as well, just in case for an extra little reference. Now, out of the box, these guys are going to hit a top speed of 15 miles per hour. That's because they are speed limited. Um, they've got a, a RPM limiter built into the chips here. That's going to keep your uh, little ones from going a little bit too crazy, especially if they've never ridden an ATV before. But with the uh, CF Moto Youth app, you actually can connect to your bike here and unlock that. And then it opens it up to its full top speed of 27 miles per hour for more experienced riders. Now, when the time comes that you need to stop this little guy, you're going to have two standard braking options here. Um, this is pretty much standard for any ATV, right? You're going to have your foot brake down here, which is going to go ahead and uh, brake all four wheels or up here on the top on the left side you will have just the front brake lever up here uh, with the parking brake integrated up here as well. Now, while we're on the subject of this uh, left side handlebar up here, let's go ahead and talk about some of the other things we got going on. So pretty standard equipment here. You're going to go ahead and see um, you have your headlights, parking lights option right here, simple on and off. Um, here we have our ignition engagement switch. So with this button pushed out, we're not going to be able to start the bike. We want to go ahead and push that in to enable that along with the key. Um, then we got to make sure we have our brake pulled and we can hit our ignition button right here. And now we're ready to roll. The bike's up and running. But you may notice this little red cord right here. This is a magnetic safety sensor. And this is designed with this little clip and stretchy cord here. You can clip this on to uh, you know, just about anywhere you can get it. I'll go ahead and uh, clip it here to my, my pants loop. And then what's going to happen is if you fall off this bike or something happens and it gets away from you, you get too far away, that little clip's going to pull out. And I don't know if you could hear that bike just shut off. So that way it's not going to get into a runaway event and get away from your new rider. Then to get it started again, we just go ahead and put our little magnetic sensor back on here and start the bike like normal. We also don't want to forget our convenient little horn right here. <laughs> now another important safety feature that's included with the Seaforce 110s is going to be the CF Moto Youth app. And I'll throw a couple of screenshots up so you can get an idea how the interface looks for it. Uh, it's available on Android and iPhone, so uh, no matter what platform, you'll be covered. Now, what the app does, it gives you a little bit of extra control over these units, right? So the most important thing is going to be geofencing. Now, if you've never heard of that, what that means is you can tell your kids, hey, you guys are going to go out on your own and uh, go have some fun. Just take it easy. Be careful. But don't go outside of this area where I've permitted you to ride. So what geofencing is going to do is um, there's a GPS sensor inside of the bike here. And you can locate an area on a map and with a given radius and say, this is where that bike's allowed to go ride. And if the bike goes outside of that radius, it can actually shut the bike down for you so that they're not going to be able to, um, you know, continue riding out there. Now they're in an unsafe area. 
secondly to that, you're also going to have a hard lock and unlock function. So even with the key and all the safety features properly engaged here physically on the bike, if you have it locked from the app, it's still not going to run. So you don't have to worry about them taking this thing out unauthorized. You'll also have the ability inside that app to go ahead and set the speed limiter, as I mentioned earlier. So out of the box, you're going to get 15 miles per hour top speed with the uh, throttle limiter. But if you unlock it from the CF Moto Youth app, then you're going to be able to hit 27 and then really open up its potential. So now we've went ahead and talked about all the safety features, but I know the next question on your mind is, is it fun? <laughs> Let me go ahead and answer that question for you. Yes, it is. Um, one of the first things you'll notice is the excellent suspension on these guys. So we've got a, a ton of travel here, nice squishy, but it actually really, it's really good at holding firm where you need it. Um, independent suspension as well. So we can rock either direction and it really eats up the, uh, any kind of bumps and holes and things you're running into on these. Um, myself here, I'm actually a little bit under 200 pounds and it holds me just fine. We've actually ridden these and tested them out a little bit to see, and um, we haven't had any issues with the suspension bottoming out. Now the little 110 engine, yes, it's, it's gonna be a little slow on pickup. That's to be expected, and that is built in as part of the safety features. But once you get it going, it will hold its speed very well. And once you have the RPMs up a little bit, this thing has no problem, even again with myself being an adult rider I can actually have some pretty good fun on this little guy. Part of the advantage is the entire bike itself is under 300 pounds, so it does not have to push a lot of its own weight out of the way. And if, you're, if you've got a lighter rider on it, then your power to weight ratio is gonna be pretty nice there. Here on the front, you will of course have independent brake discs on each wheel controlled by that front lever up there. And then in the back, we have one single large disc that is, um, you know, going to clamp down when you mash that foot pedal. And then here you can see the pretty significantly sized chain that holds everything together from the transmission back here to the rear sprocket. We take a look here at the front and you can also see a little bit of built in camber on the front wheels uh, and the difference in the size from the rears to the front. So you get some good grip back there. And this thing definitely goes in the direction you want it to go in. So now that I've told you all about the Seaforce 110 here, I hope this has been an informative video for you. If you have any more questions about these little guys, you can give us a call at Crystal Tractor of Ocala at 352-835-3130. You can also visit our website at crystaltractor.com, and there you can actually view all of our Seaforce inventory, as well as our tractor and a lot more inventory too. We've got a lot of different products to offer. And we're going to go ahead and finish this video out with some clips of these little guys and uh, just what they're capable of. You see a little bit of racing going on. <laughs>